So here's our final presentation for the product development class. And it's about the future of education system. Global, uh, our education system is global learning using internet technologies. This is our content. And first we would like to introduce ourselves. We are APU and we would like to pro uh, propose a future education system with the time frame of 2030. Our customers are current and potential APU students as well as our investors. And our stakeholders are businesses associated with APU, our faculty members and the parents of students. What is a global learning using internet technology? Uh, this system encompasses using e-technology in order to deliver effective learning, but also to make education accessible and affordable for the students. This is combined with refined global education, which encompasses subjects such as environmental studies and multicultural literacy, which are becoming increasingly important. And we would also like to provide our students with better career opportunity. And we picked the time frame of 2030 because it is a practical time frame to understand and predict the future trends as well as the uncertainty that uh, affects the future of the education system. Uh, we would like to explain our core values and value proposition. So this is our customer profile. We believe that our main target customer, who are APU students, would like to uh, build confidence in APU as well as uh, build connections in order to improve their skill sets and stay up to date as well as get a better career opportunity. However, we also believe that APU students are experiencing dissatisfaction with the current education system, such as education being too costly or a lack of time to attend the courses. Next, this is our value proposition and value map. So the education system uh, we're proposing encompasses use of um, ma materials such as e-textbooks, environmental studies, and online classrooms, which can help APU students to create these gains by allowing access to vast online materials, as well as giving them opportunity to build experience. And our system also eliminates customer pain for, by providing a flexible time schedule and accessibility of classes from virtually anywhere. So this is how our customer profile uh, fits the value map. As you can see, the green circle represents that our services and products can help them create gains or eliminate the customer pain. Okay, so moving on to the next part, which is differentiation strategy. So we have differentiate into three categories, which is product, cost, and learning environment. And the value is offered in the green boxes. Okay, so why are we proposing this education system? It's because several studies demonstrate that the use of e-technologies are beneficial to students' learning and becoming increasingly popular. And these are the examples. And these are our hypotheses. So yeah, like we did hypothesis and survey to prove that our hypothesis is right. And we did survey to APU students and also statistical data analysis. Our online survey is current APU students are more inclined towards the online resources compared to the traditional offline ones. And majority of the students are interested in online learning system, hence the availability of high technology in education system is likely to be adopted and accepted. And these are statistical data from UNESCO, which suggests increasing accessibility of education in the future. And our conclusion is, as more students show the inclination towards the integration of technology into education system, our hypothesis then affirm. Furthermore, the data proved the significant global trends broadening the accessibility of education amongst populations from all sectors. And we have used the concept of design thinking and used several models to brainstorm our ideas and create our services. And these are the examples. And this, and this, and this is our references and thank you for your listening.